people tonight. How are we looking around here? That's right. Well, thankfully, wind speeds have decided to back off just a bit later on uh, this afternoon. We did see some very strong gusts, but we have allowed for red flag warnings to expire. Uh, they canceled right around 8 o'clock or so, so an hour earlier than they were expected to last. We are still dealing with just a bit of a breeze outside. It is brisk. I'd advise the jacket for anyone stepping outdoors. We're staying dry for the low elevations. Live HD Doppler radar is showing some scattered snow showers for the central and northern mountains. So now that we've kind of wrapped up those strong wind speeds, our attention is really shifting off to the high country. If you're traveling to the mountains overnight and into early tomorrow morning, make sure to use caution. We are expecting some reduced visibility from time to time with some strong gusts. Some gusts could range up to 50 miles an hour, and when you combine that with that snow that's falling, it really could be difficult for drivers along I-70. Up and along the Palmer Divide, if you're traveling toward the Mile High City, be aware, Live HD Doppler radar is indicating some spotty snow showers. We could even see some isolated showers up and along the Palmer Divide for Teller County and for portions of the I-25 corridor in southeastern plains. This will be the exception rather than the rule overnight, but where we do see some showers overnight, we can't rule out some wet spots early tomorrow morning or even an isolated icy patch up and along the Palmer Divide toward Monument, Castle Rock or toward Teller County. That's something that Storm Tracker 13's Mike Everett is going to be watching for you tomorrow starting at 4.30. Here's a glance at SkyCast pausing the clock at 2 a.m. Seeing a mixture of clouds for the low elevations with this upper level disturbance causing that snow for the high country. Early tomorrow morning showers are mostly expected to taper off with just some spotty showers possible for the mountains tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow ranging in the 50s and the 40s for Colorado Springs and Pueblo. 30s through the 50s for Teller and Fremont counties. Remember to track any showers and storms right along with us by accessing seen our Storm Tracker 13 weather app. Tomorrow, temperatures for the southeastern plains ranging the mid to upper 50s will reach the 20s to the 40s for the mountains and the high valleys. Wind gusts tomorrow are expected to be a bit gusty, but we don't have any sort of red flag warnings in effect. The National Weather Service does just have fire weather watches that go into effect for the central eastern plains tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now, Thursday into Friday, that's our next chance for some rain and snow. Finally, seeing some moisture. We'll be dry Saturday all the way through Tuesday. In Pueblo, 57 for tomorrow, mid-40s we go on Friday, late Thursday into Friday. That's when we start to see some changes. Forecast models not entirely aligning with how much snow we can see, but that's something we're going to be watching for you very carefully. 53 as we go into tomorrow in Canyon City. We'll be in the low 40s as we uh, go into Friday. So really Friday will be noticeably cooler and cloudier, and there will be some showers to contend with, with even some travel impacts possible Friday morning and afternoon. 36 for tomorrow in Teller County. Go online for the latest on our forecast, too. You can check out some additional details to what we're expecting the next several yeah. days. Still mm -hmm. winter, right? I mean, oh, technically. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Except we're, for meteorological spring. Exactly. Yeah, I'm already first. in spring, yeah. first of March. You're in spring yeah. mode. That, that wind right. was cold today, though. Oh.